As the rain poured down Monday morning, a quiet street in Ferndale became a crime scene. An Anne Arundel County police officer shot and killed a man who lived here on Linwood Avenue. I did hear a siren earlier this morning and that must have been when the policeman went over there. Police say just after five, two officers tried serving an extreme risk protective order on 60-year-old Gary Willis. Police say he answered the door holding a gun, placed it down, and stepped outside to speak to the officers. Once they explained to him that he was the respondent of an order and that they would be taking his guns, he became irate, went back in the house, grabbed the gun. The first officer in the door grabbed the gun as well. They started tug of warring for the gun and the suspect sh fired one shot from the gun. Luckily that didn't hit anybody, um, but once that shot went off, the second officer um, fired his service weapon, striking the suspect. Willis died at the house. Police don't know why the order was issued for Willis, but say before the red flag law went into effect October 1st, all officers had special training on how to handle these especially dangerous situations. Not only are we going to a house to take somebody's guns, we know that they're armed, we know that they have guns, um, but we have the court telling us that this person is mentally unstable enough that they can't have guns. That's the whole point of this order. Of the nine orders they've served so far, this is the first one that's ended tragically. Neighbors are saddened by what happened. I guess I just moved here about a year ago and um, it's been very quiet. I mean, uh, I mean, my neighbors are great people and that's a loving community and uh, it's just very surprising to kind of hear this on my way home from work. Police aren't releasing any information about the officers involved, just saying that they were still being interviewed as of this afternoon. Reporting live in Ferndale, Kim Day, CWBAL, TV 11 News.